we look at the entire human history, one object that had the most profound impact on human lives is the Moon. To this day, we are not sure how the Moon was formed. It is one of the biggest mysteries of astronomy. There are four scientific theories which promises to explain how Moon came to be, such as the Sister Theory. Sister Theory suggests, during the formation of our solar system, both Earth and the Moon were formed side by side. However, Earth took out more material from the raw disk of the solar system and acquired more mass. As a result, Earth became bigger with more gravitational force. Eventually, Earth's gravity attracted the Moon and it fell into an orbit around the Earth. On the surface, this theory seems legit, but it has a problem. When researchers studied the density of Earth and the Moon, it was significantly different. If Earth and Moon were formed as a double planet system side by side from the same interplanetary material, their density must have been the same. Then we have the capture theory. Since Earth and Moon's density are not similar, it means Moon did not form anywhere near the Earth. Capture theory suggests that Moon was formed somewhere else in the solar system and was captured by Earth's gravity as it passed near the Earth. But the main problem with capture theory is the mass of the Moon. Our Moon is too large to get captured by a small-sized planet like the Earth. Its momentum could have easily destabilized Earth's orbit, causing both Earth and Moon to fall into the Sun. Next we have the daughter, or fission theory. As we know, Earth used to spin at an immense speed during its formation. Fission theory suggests that a large portion of Earth was expelled due to the spinning motion. That expelled matter did not leave Earth's orbit and formed the Moon. However, this theory also faces the same density problem as the sister theory. The impact theory is the most accepted scientific theory of them all. Impact theory suggests that in the beginning of our solar system, a large Mars-sized planet was formed in the outer solar system, called Thea. Thea didn't have a stable orbit around the Sun. As a result, it fell into the Sun, and on the way it collided with the Earth. Such collisions were common in the early solar system, as there were hundreds of planets at that time. Scientists suggest that Thea collided with the outer part of the Earth, at a time when all the heavy metals had moved to the core which is why the density of the Moon is so low. 